Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my little video. So I was asked if I could make a demonstration or tutorial, like walkthrough, how I make my pretty little timers. And so here you are, are. at least I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna attempt to ex kind of explain, give you the information. As you know, information is power. And I'm gonna give you the right tools to, to create your own timers. So thing, the first thing you need to do is learn how to make your overlay clock, the thing that counts down. That it might be a tad too much information for me to tell you in one video. So I am gonna suggest you use this lovely guy here. If you're using a Mac, I would use his tutorial on how to make overlay clock. His video is very clear, easy, and it's a, yeah, it's a very helpful video to follow. If you have a PC and you don't have access to um, uh, keynotes, because this uses keynotes, uh, there are definitely a lot of tutorials out there that teach you how to make, if you have a PC, uh, I would just use the same search terms just for Mac, for, for PC, if you're a PC user. The link to the video will be in the description box below. I would suggest you check that out first or check it out after the video, depending on kind of what you want to do. But when you have ha you have your timer, the moment you have gotten the timer that you're going to use, I usually make a 60 minute one, so I can usually just shorten it if I want. So I have the timer. That means that I need to make a cute little background for my pretty little timer. This is gonna be so awkward. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let's just move this a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna stop and jump into Canva. So I usually use Canva when I am creating uh, cute notebooks, uh, notebooks, planners, uh, YouTube video backgrounds and the size I usually use. Let me see. YouTube. Oh. Uh, this is usually the size I use 1920 by 1080 pixels. That's usually big enough. Like, that's the size I like personally. And I think the size they recommend. So I would click that and open a new document. I actually have already opened one. And now it comes to the part to pick kind of the look you want. You have your timer, you wanna make layout before you start making your official timer. Like, okay, let me see. I wanna have something this time, I've kind of pre-checked a few things. So I'm, I wanna have a pink, I want pink flowers. But because, we are trying to create something new. We're trying to create something unique. We building of layers is always a bit good thing, especially when you are using a uh, software like Canva, just to to both copyright. Uh, I have a pro a, a pro account, but I always layer upon layer, and then I flatten the image so it's something new, something unique. Okay, here we have a box. I'm gonna have a gold box for my pretty little timer. Might actually do a second box because I'm so goldy somehow. But yeah, I always recommend if you're gonna be using Canva, do layers just like I, it, it create. It, it doesn't have to meet a lot. It just has to be text. As long as it's text, or just a layered upon layered, like this has already been turned into something brand new. That's the key thing when it comes to not, it's not using like pro, using content from Canva is using layers. 
to protect yourself so you're not doing using anything too raw like i would let's say i would find a cute little fox on canva i would never use the fox all alone by itself on a book cover or a t-shirt i would always layer the, the design with something else to create something new so that's basically what we are aiming for okay let me see since that's out of the loop so i want a little bit of a i want movement i kind of want movement let me see this is too let's move over here i'm gonna spend too much time you, you can see there's a lot of stuff to pick from there's so much stuff to pick from let me see i have stickers let me see here also, if you have the pro version, you usually have options for a lot more stuff than you would usually do get with uh, the regular version. Of course, it's not necessary. If you don't want to buy a pro version, you don't. Simple as that, just depending on what you like. I can just, I can spend hours hours just playing around with it uh let me see i have to, there was a sleep and it, you see graphics let's just say a butterfly we're just gonna use this cute little butterfly of course Why are you acting like a that almost so sometimes I'll just make a little thing there. <laughs> Could you imagine just having a little like <laughs> I don't know why that just entertains me a bunch. Let me see, let's find something cute. We want something adorable. But. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's just for the, no, no. Okay, a cute little cat playing with butterflies. That's gonna be my timer. And. Is there anything more? No, I want animation. See, there's a lot of things you can play with, but I do always recommend you use lay uh, you layer your content. I think it's just kind of you're making every time you create something like this in Canva or any other software, you are creating something new. Um, oh, my computer is not cooperating okay i just i i feel like he should be sitting on something and we are going to pick layers send it back because obviously it, this is is just a background see we're just gonna make it simple so usually i would like Okay, now the butterfly is just too much. So usually I would add my, let's say, website and name here. I kind of just mark my timers because it's kind of free advertisement. When you do that, you're marking who has it. On. And it's also a precaution. Even though it's just a timer, I mark them. So if somebody decides to download them and load them onto the, their account, <laughs> they will be advertising me <laughs> and I kind of don't have to do anything so that's also the thing so let me see HK Kirkwood slash HK okay this, that's kind of just I don't do anything too fancy just keeping things simple we're not going to do it Fat text. I so do not like 
If it's not obvious, guys, my computer is is on its last legs. Okay, let me see. I want something cute and simple. We're gonna do this here. We don't want to have it too obvious and potentially even change the color. Uh, let me see. Yep. See, the colors are cute. So now I have my background. So of course, I kind of don't want this to be just five seconds. So you can do a few things. So because I'm doing an animation, an animation uh, with my timer, Canva has this very new-ish thing that you can make an up to a 30 minute video on animated video here on Canva. So I am going to do that. And I am going just to copy paste all the way down until I see the, see the number here go up to, let's say, let's do 10 minutes. Cause we're just gonna see, okay, 10 minutes. I have too much, so I'm gonna cut it down to 10 minutes. Okay. That was maybe a little too much. Okay, so here I have a 10 minute video ready to go. So this will run for 10 minutes, super cute, super easy. The timer will be in here, and now I'm gonna download it to my computer. Uh, of course, you're gonna want to make sure you're saving your animated folder to a MP4 video format, or you, if you're not using an animation format like I don't always do, I actually more often just plain picture with some decorations. Usually, I would use a J J J J JPEG uh, pick mainly just. It's lighter, it's a smaller format, but that's what I usually use. If I wanna do a very high quality one, I will use the PNG, this one here. It, th this is also the format I use when I'm doing illustrations in any format, but yeah, we're gonna download this. I keep closing it. What's wrong with you, girl? Okay, saved online settings. We are going to download for streaming, let me see. We're gonna save this as a 4K just in case. You never know, you never know. So now my video is downloading. So I'm gonna speed this up. So I'll be with you in a bit. Okay now, now I have finished downloading my video and I am going to switch screens so I can show you guys. Uh, I have my timer. Let me see. I'm going to move this over. Kind of need to make sure I am on the right spot. So I, both, I have both my little timer and my background video or animation for my timer ready to go. And now I'm going to open Movie Maker and show you guys how that stuff works. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna open here, window, movie maker here. So now I've opened my, uh, my movie maker. We're, as you can see, I have a bunch of videos here. I try to keep this very neat because this is a very old Mac and it can't handle too much. So I've had to clean this quite a bit but we are gonna open, oh, oops. You can, this is a very basic editing, the movie, on the editing software, software, so movie editor, so it's pretty basic. I would, if you have no experience in stuff like this, I would just use the easiest one you can find. I use one on my phone for quite a bit, when I was editing videos. And to note, I don't do a lot of editing. I just, I don't have the patience for it. So uh, here I have the timers and we're, we're gonna pull that right in here. 
Um, this is my timer. It's 10 minutes. You can see it here. It's 10 minutes. And I am going to pick my, let me see. We're going to see if this one works. So I have a timer here that is way too long and it's, it's too big. So it's way too big. Firstly, when I'm doing the timer, you can see it starts as a zero. That's okay because I'm going to move the timer here until I'm, let me see, I kind of need to zoom in a little bit. We want to make sure we want to stop right here. So. So here's the video. Can I drag it? Okay, I can't drag this. So we're gonna do this and do this. Ooh. And we are going to, let me see. Okay, I need to sh It's a, such a finesse thing. It is such a finesse thing. I'm gonna have it a little longer than, I'm gonna split the file. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little more. We're gonna split it here. So I'm gonna delete this part. So I have I always have it a little larger than it is. And you can see the text is white and that will actually won't do. So we're gonna go up here into the video overlay settings. I'm gonna chip pick pictures and then I can choose the size of the text. So as soon as I'm happy with that, and because this is uh, way too white and I could have designed every single letter to be a specific color. And if I had a stronger computer, I would definitely do that, but I don't. So I kind of have to pick and choose what I can do because my computer will crash if there's too much happening at once. So since I ha have to, I'm forced to change, I can't, make another timer or and not, don't have the option to. So I'm just gonna use filters and use negative and that will turn my text black. Simple and easy. Okay, now I'm gonna double check to make sure that my timer is correct. We wanna make sure that's a okay, okay. And uh, here we're gonna stop because I want a bell sound and I'm gonna go you most the uh, the softwares I've tried have little like basic uh, audio library okay I'm not and I usually just use that let me see what is it Ooh. see there it is okay and of course, like clockwork, we have the fur baby, Tina, trying to get some love. Tina, move, move, I'm busy. Go, 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 go. She's like, no, no. Okay, and also I kind of want to also add a transition. Oh yeah, I need to fix. So you probably see that's still coming down. Go and... Click speed. If you click on speed, you can usually find this little button here that says reverse. Then you just click reverse and it will start counting down for you. And because I love to have a motivational text at the end, so I usually just check, click titles and I use something that is cute and like the, the one I usually use is called pixie dust in movie maker and I will just pull it out here I'm so impatient <laughs> so oh let's see Good job, darling. 
And let me see, we're gonna change the color to just black. No, it's it's kind of dark and gloomy to do that. Let's see. All right, we're gonna do, let me see where it, here. No, it's, it's just too, it's way too. Let's just use black. It is just much easier. And we're gonna move it. Okay, then I'm happy with that. And we're gonna move this a little here. And now we're gonna play it, let me see. And see, we have made a pretty timer. Easy peasy. It is 10 minutes and 24 seconds. We of course can make this much shorter. Uh, we can customize how loud the bell sound is. We, uh, usually you can, this is just basic function. So usually you can pretty much do anything, but this is the basics of how I make my timers. Like very easy peasy kind of, okay, it, it wasn't easy in the beginning. It was not easy in the beginning. But as soon as you've made a like a few basic uh, clock overlays in fonts you like, and you kind of and you kind of know the, you can either do your own paintings. I've done my own paintings as a background. I've done stuff from Canva. You can kind of do anything, and that's the kind of thing. It's so easy, but not easy, but easy. Anyways. I so hope you found this somewhat helpful, <laughs> somewhat helpful. Like, it doesn't have to be complicated, guys. It doesn't have to get complicated. You don't have to have an animation. You could just use a regular photo. I do recommend adding your name to your timers just in case, because you never know. And it, like I said, it's, if you're, if you're open for other people using your timers, have your name on it, maybe not too flashy, but have your name on it. I'm trying not to have my name too flashy. And they're well then welcome to use your timer and they promote you at the same time. Win-win. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop blabbering. Hopefully you found this somewhat helpful. And yeah. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to want me to try to do or demonstrate or teach you something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel I am a very good teacher, but if it was helpful, then awesome. Freaking awesome. Anyways, thank you for your time. If you have more helpful information, uh, apps, software that you think your fellow creators that are interested in making timers could potentially potentially benefit from, please leave a comment in the box below. That's one of the seniors being dramatic. Of course, of course. Yeah, I'm live. Anyways, I'm not gonna edit this out. There's no way I'm gonna edit this out. So yeah, share, your, share the love share the information let's all help each other out learn all the things and if there's anything you want to le learn or think i can teach you let me know i'll do my best anyways thank you so much for watching leave a hopefully push that like button if you haven't subscribed already hope you do so and guys see you next time love you guys good night good night why good night? Why did this say good night? I've been streaming too long. Anyways, see you later.